10 years ago, um, back in 2014, the Doha Agreement took place. And this was an agreement that looked at how we classify hip and groin pain. And at that agreement, um, it was decided that um, you could classify patients who present with hip and groin pain where you know it's not arthritis and it's not a red flag cause of pain, that it could be classified as either um, adductor-related groin pain psoas related groin pain, um, abdominal or inguinal related groin pain, or pubic related groin pain. And then the fifth classification was hip joint related groin pain. And then in 2018, um, we met in Zurich and we had the Zurich Consensus Agreement. And at that agreement, we took that classification of hip joint pain and broke that down into three categories. So either um, femoroacetabular impingement syndrome or FAI syndrome is the first class- classification of hip pain. The second classification of hip pain was um, hip dysplasia or hip instability. And then the third classification of hip pain was um hip pain with normal hip morphology. So not with the abnormal bone shape that you see in FAI syndrome or that you see in hip dysplasia. So other causes of hip pain where the shape of the joint is normal.